We explain the prehistoric Paleolithic era. Much of the information we have about human life before the creation of written records comes from theories that are designed around the excavation of artifacts and fossils. Two of the most important scientific fields researching the answers to human societal development are anthropology and archaeology. Archaeology studies societal foundations by investigating artifacts like weapons, religious tools, and art. Anthropology studies artifacts combined with fossils to create patterns of the understanding of human societal evolution. By combining the theories and also the artifacts and fossils, we can develop a picture of the world of early humans from their diets, their military structures, their political structures, their economic and family patterns. Because there's no known system of writing, we call this era prehistory. In order to put the era in its chronological context, scientists will use DNA analysis, blood molecule samples, radiocarbon dating, and thermoluminescence. These methods can give us a timeline of up to 200,000 years. Creation myths abound throughout the various faiths and philosophies of the world of how humans came to be. However, the scientific theories put forth by anthropologists, archaeologists, botanists, zoologists, climatologists theorize that human life began in Africa about three to four million years ago as a hominid known as Australopithecine. Anthropologist Lewis and Mary Leakey set out in the 1930s to discover the origin of human history in the Oldavi Gorge in Tanzania. In the gorge, they found tools that were shaped into jagged edges. The use of stone tools for human survival gives this this era its name of Paleolithic Age, or Old Stone Age. It's commonly accepted in the scientific community that the dates of the Old Stone Age range between 2.5 million to 10,000 BC, the Leakeys found a set of bones dating back two million years ago. In 1974, Donald Johansson found Lucy, a skeleton that dated three million years ago in current Ethiopia. Recently, in 2009, scientists discovered Arty, a female who lived about 4.4 million years ago in Ethiopia. She stood about four feet tall and walked on two legs and on her palms. She had opposable thumbs and large hands in order to swing from the trees. Since the leaky, scientists have discovered numerous fossil records of early hominid groups. They've classified them into groups based on the level of the advancement in toolmaking and in reasoning. They've been classified into Artipithecus, which included Arty, Australopithecines, which included Lucy, and Homo habilis, which existed two million years ago and used stone tools for cutting, sawing, and chopping. Homo erectus, who lived 1.5 million years ago, walked fully upright, discovered fire, created stone axes, and began the migration out of Africa to Europe and Asia. And then about 250,000 years ago, the closest relative to us, Homo sapiens, emerged. It's believed that Homo sapiens developed into two different hominid groups, Neanderthals with their large bones and smaller brain cavities, and also questions if they had the ability to speak. The other group was Homo sapiens sapien with speech ability, adaptive technology, and adaptive survival skills. 30,000 years ago, Neanderthals vanished, leaving Homo sapiens sapiens to create civilization. <laughs>